Right, in this short video I'm going to show you how um, enlargement factors um, affect area and volume. Now if I um, have a dimension and say it's a length uh, that's you know, 2 and I apply an enlargement factor of 3 then the new length will become 6. But if I have um, an area say and let's say that this area is a 2 by 3 centimeter squared with a six centimeter squared area, then what will happen to that if I apply an enlargement factor of three? Well, a lot of people are tempted to think <coughs> that it's just simply six times three and the answer will be 18. But that's not the case, so let's have a look at why that's not the case. If I multiply um, the lengths by three, and that's the enlargement factor, and everything's got to be multiplied by the same factor, then the height will become six and the width will become 9. And the area um, of 6 nines is 54, which is not 18. Now if we do 54 divided by 6, we'll find that the area or the factor of it, uh, that the area has changed is by a factor of 9. So although the enlargement factor is 3, area factor is 9. And in fact, the reason for this is because we multiplied the base by 3 and we also multiplied the height by 3. So if you look at what we had to start with, 2 times 3, after the enlargement it became 2 times 3, that's applying the 3 on the 2, times 3 times 3 and that's applying the 3 on the 3. So we had uh, a times by 3 factor right, coming in twice, there and there. So the factor on enlargement then is 3 squared. So in general, if we have an enlargement factor of k, then the effect it will have on the area is to enlarge the area by a factor of k squared. Now, just uh, the same way, if I'd gone to volume from length, then this would have brought in a, a, an additional factor of 3 on the depth. So if volume, if we have an enlargement of k, will change by k cubed. So just to recap, if our enlargement factor is k, then this will affect the area by a factor of k squared and it will affect the volume by a factor of k cubed. So that's our area and that's our volume. So, let's apply that to a practical problem. Let's suppose that we had a cone and the volume of the cone was 20 centimetres cubed. What would the new volume be under a factor of enlargement of times 3? Well, following the logic of everything I've shown you, there are three dimensions that determine the volume of a cone. Each one of those dimensions has been multiplied by 3. So the factor that's been applied to the volume is 20 times 3 cubed. You would have had the radius that have been changed by 3 and the radius is squared in the formula. So if I write the formula out, pi r squared h over 3. So you'll have a radius times 3 for the first r times a radius times 3 for the second r times the height times 3. And that's um, where you, so you can see the factor of 3 coming in 3 times. Now you don't have to draw this out and this is just to help you really understand it. What you've got to remember is these three formulas here. So if our enlargement factor is k when we're moving to volume then we must take that enlargement factor and cube it. So that gives me 20 times 27 which, um, which gives me 540 centimetres cubed as the volume of the new cylinder that's had a factor of 3 applied to it. So 
that's um, a first introduction then to factors of enlargement.